Rugbyian here on Premier Sports. Now we are joined by an absolute legend of a guest. And it's not a rugby player, but it's someone you will know very, very well. He's star, a worldwide superstar, in fact. You might know him as Neville Longbottom from Harry Potter. It's the marvellous Matt Lewis. Matty boy, lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. You've supported us from the very start. You remember those cold, dark days? Coming down on a on a windy morning down to a, <laughs> a dusty old studio in Leeds. I've been trying to forget, but yeah, they're still there. <laughs> we still he's still there. Right. We're going to start off. We've got plenty of time to talk. I'm going to ask you a couple of HP questions, not the sauce. We've got to touch on the Potter. You know, you know, everyone asks you. I you know. We're going to ask you a couple of questions, and that'll be it. I promise. Right? How does it feel? How was it actually growing up at Hogwarts Castle? Um, I don't know. It's a weird one because it was just in a studio in Watford. <laughs> Which is Don't come a dream, man. Sorry, mate. Probably the most glamorous of locations. It's not exactly a hotbed of rugby league either down there. So it was. Um... <laughs> You're not seeing the Broncos, mate. It's <laughs> <laughs> it. Oh yeah, they're doing right well out there. Um... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he said a swear word. Yeah, right, exactly. Um, no, obviously, you know, working down in Watford was um, was pretty tough. Just being away from home, like five days a week, coming on weekends and stuff. Um, and sort of doing school and at the same time alongside it was a bit weird. Like one minute you're doing all this fun doing filming and that, but then you get pulled out to do like chemistry and history and stuff, which is a bit dull. But I think of worse things. But it's, it's a great, great going up on a film set. You made some friends for life there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, still see, still see a bunch of the guys. We um, get together whenever we can. You know, people are all over the world working on different, different projects, so it's kind of tough. But we all try and get together. We do a, cr a charity cricket match every year. Um, to raise money for one of the stuntmen who, who sadly was uh, paralysed on film six. So we get together and we all have a big charity cricket match. You have Dan Radcliffe, the, uh, the captain of Gryffindor team, and i got Tom Felton, the captain of the Slytherin team. No way. Yeah, it's a really good day, yeah. That's cool. I think you're actually in full admiration here, aren't you? Because you're a massive Harry Potter fan. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. When I went to <laughs> Centre Parks last, I took all the full seven films and I watched them one day at a time. And when it finished, I was nearly crying and it was like I was lost. <laughs> it was like a bereavement. And I, I've only ever been starstruck twice in my life. Uh, once when I played against Bobby Golden for some reason, and that's just a natural reaction. And the other time when I met Matt Lewis at Edinley, he played a bit, he played a bit, played a bit of touch and pass, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he turned yeah. up, he played for the Carlsberg team. That's right. Uh, I know Carlsberg don't know who teams, but if they did, you'd probably think it was the best team in the world. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and Matt did really well. Actually, they got knocked out in the semi-finals. Um, but, you know, I, I watched Matt see how good he was. I thought he had a few good spells, to be fair. <laughs> John oh, oh, like that. That. Let's get a negative view. Oh, Let's get a negative view. Tuesday Torch, Matt Lewis used to come down with the foundation, Tuesday Torch. And to be honest, it's a good job as an actor because his touch and pass skills aren't the best. You've got to admit, you were never built to be a rugby player, were you? Not at all. I Not thought at you were going to train him up, Keith. Did you get him in the gym? Well, that just shows my coaching ability. You've done weights with, with him before, haven't you? We have, yes. And it, 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 he was starstruck himself. He came into the weight room. He's a, big, he's a big, not for me, not a big person. Jason Davidson, our conditioner, said he'd get him trimmed up. Uh, he's not trimmed himself up, by the way, but he did a great job with Matt Lewis. But one thing, though, he wouldn't join him with the naked weights. Naked weights? We've got a thing where you, everybody has naked weights in a rugby team. Even John, do you must have done it. You've got to do naked weights. <laughs> Just you, Keith, yeah? Nick, <laughs> Nick Fozard, Sean Long, there's a rule. You've got to do six, I think it's six chins uh, on, the dip, on the chin bar. Naked. Right. So Matt, Matt Lewis, he won't join in. But I, I took it back to Hogwarts with me. I was like, hey, you've you never heard of Naked Witch before. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got to do it. Everyone's got to do it. Hermione, have you ever heard of Naked Witch? Get them off. We're all over it. Right, I've got to ask you, honest question, serious question, is magic real? Mate, well, you've got a TV show, haven't you? So. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> This is our dream. <laughs> Don't kill my dream, man. Don't kill my dream. One nil. Anything's possible. I uh, know. Well, I've, uh, you see, I've been a massive supporter of you. Maybe you don't support us as much as we support you. <laughs> but I've been watching you on uh, number 42. Not 42. 42. <laughs> and how's it going? Yeah, yeah. Blue Stone 42 um, on BBC. It's gone really, really well. The, uh, the series went down um, really great with the critics and, and the fans and stuff. We uh, got the biggest viewing figures for, for that slot. Um, so we got a commission on the second series like, straight away. Um, so we're off back out to South Africa in October for two months to, to do the new series. Been, been with the producers and the writers in the last sort of few months working out what, what Tower Block's going to be doing next. So that, you, you play a character called Tower Block? Yeah. Have you ever lived in a Tower Block? Uh, wow. I haven't, no. Um, he's a, he's a, a working class lad from Armley. 
so it's not a million miles away from where I am. But no, I've never, I never lived in a tower block, so I had sort of, you know, a bit of, a bit of research into the character and stuff. But it's just like I love him. I think he's great. He's a big. The thing was, he was supposed to be a Geordie. The reason he was, he was supposed to be like a six foot five Geordie when they first did it. And I went in for the meeting and I was like, you don't want to hear my Geordie accent, so I'm just going to do it in my natural There was a bit of Geordie not accent. A no, come on, please. <laughs> You're an actor. There was a little bit of Geordie accent. The best I could do is like some off Geordie show, but I don't think you'll be able to put it on TV. <laughs> well, Wagger has got to do accents for us and he's struggling a little bit, aren't you, kid? Yeah, I need a bit of practice. Will, will you give Wagger a bit of coaching off screen, off set today? On, on how to do accents? On a Geordie accent. He's got to listen on, to it. On any accents? It's the simplest thing. I mean, because it's, it's not easy. I mean, the only way that I do it is that you've just got to listen to it again and again, watch as much TV and listen to as much as much recordings as possible and do it all the time. So, for example, if I'm going for a meeting where I have to do an American accent... Do it, do it. I'll just do it. Oh, no, no Come on, way. please. Just do one accent. Your best one. What do you want me to say? Anything. Say, welcome to Rugby M in another voice. Look at Rugby M in like a yank voice. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Rugby AM. Yeah. 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 He's an actor. He's an actor. <laughs> right there. Right, you're massively dry nose fan. I am, yeah. Do you... We're unveil a big unveiling. Oh, oh, there she oh, is. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Do you wear that under every outfit yeah. you ever wear? Yeah. Just in case I get asked if I'm a big dry nose fan and I can, I can get it out. Yeah. Jonesy, why has he got your kid's top on? <laughs> <laughs> it's a large boy, isn't it? It could be Kevin Sheffield's <laughs> shirt. Is it Kevin Sheffield's oh, shirt? Oh, if only. <laughs> is it, oh, is he your favourite player, is he? Well, obviously, not. He pales in comparison next to. Next to you. I'm missing well, you at the minute, aren't Most we? people look pale outside of me. You like number 11, what's crack with that? That's my number, isn't it? Um, yeah, it is, yeah. And it's all because it's all of you, Jonesy, growing up, you know, watching you play. No, it's not, sorry, mate. It's, uh, <laughs> no, no, I just, um, I don't know, it's a weird one. I just always, I used to get picked for it when I played for school, where I played footy at school. And then um, from that, it just extended into all sports. So whenever I play, like, I played footy or, or cricket or anything I was worth. You always got number 11 at soccer? Yeah. Were it five a side? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Uh, Quick. It, we want him to support us, John. I'm really sure. <laughs> <We've> actually, <laughs> I need you all to be nicer in my tricks. My claim to fame is that he could actually get me the sack. He's actually in theory my boss. What, you're his boss? I'm I was trusting the foundation, foundation so you vice president. Boss. VP. VP of the foundation. So yeah. you all need to be nice to him, otherwise I'm gone. Well, well you, you need to be nice to him. <laughs> Apparently, the, 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 the word on the street in the Rugby M cast room to say thank you for coming on, on the show tonight. Jones is going to donate one of his old playing shirts <laughs> to you. Mate, it'd be my honour. Absolutely. See, in all seriousness, this is not... Whatever you want. But he's not, he's not really been used this season, but he, but he has got one. one. <laughs> <laughs> you can't trade it for a Kev shirt. You I'll can't trade it for a Kev shirt. One. Yeah, most people want Kevin Sinfield to sign my gear to him. <laughs> <laughs> so you can have that if you want. Thanks, Paul. What do you reckon this year, Matt, is, is, you know, Leeds look the real deal this season. Can, can you see them... Winning Super League this year, is it going back to Head and Lee the Super League title? Oh, I mean, you can, you can say that every season, can't you? I mean, even when we're down in fifth, sixth, you can say we can win it. Of course we can. Um, you know, Jones is going to attest to that. Like, but um, this year we have, we've looked absolutely class. Um, you know, defensively, we've looked amazing. We've had a bit of a dip in form for the last couple of weeks, but, you know, that's, that's, that's bound to happen. Jones is not playing. Exactly. We could do with this lad back here. Um, but, no, I think, I think it is just that. It's a dip in form. I think we'll have a good game against Lee. And I think that'll um, that'll really you know give a little boost to the confidence and maybe maybe if we play some young lads as well because um, that's that's where we, we struggle sometimes when we get a few injuries in that because um, we've had you know such a such a consistent team for so many years um, when we do get some injuries it, it, it kind of rocks us a bit but you know we've, these young lads are starting to get more game time now and I think I think um, that we'll, we'll come through and we'll, we'll come out of this dip no no bother we've got the class for that and I think we'll come out the other side.